Assalamu alaikum and welcome to Perspective. We'll be talking about the overall political situation, of course, uh, in the light of KP, where uh, the security situation and talks of governor rule, and we've seen, of course, uh, PPP opposing that. We'll be talking about that. We'll also be talking about overall uh, the PTI as a political party, the challenges that they continue to face after. Uh, the protests that we've seen, the ramifications of that. We've also, of course, seen uh, Prime Minister uh, Shahbaz Sharif call PTI an anarchist party. He, and it seems that uh, the populist support that the party enjoys has more to do with their, uh, and perhaps they need to focus on their own internal issues rather than trying to take part in the kind of protests that we saw recently, all of that today. Um, on perspective, I have with me uh, Dr. Shazra Mansab Ali from the PMLN. Thank you for being with us. Muhammad Ali Rashid, uh, who is spokesperson in government from the PPP. And Daniel Sheikh, who's a political analyst. Thank you for being with us today. Uh, let me go to Dr. Shazra. Dr. Shazra, we saw the protest. We are also looking at various uh, you know, uh, things that are being said as far as the protest uh, is concerned. We've also, of course, seen the stance of your party and the Prime Minister, Shabazz Sharif Saab, saying that it is, you know, uh, a party of, like I said, anarchists and saboteurs. How do you look at the situation at this time post the protest? And the party now, and, you know, of course, the resignations that, that we are seeing that are more and more are expected, how do you overall look at it? Hear me? G. Dr. Shazra, can you hear me? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, G. yes thank you. Uh, thank you very much uh, for having me on your show, Maru. I, um, I was just saying that in the recent past, we've seen this pattern emerge as far as the PTI and its protests are concerned, that they, uh, they make very big uh, statements, very uh, in, uh, statements that are actually inciting to violence, uh, and they say that they're going to come and they use words like al-jihad. And, uh, you know, it's all as if there's a, a, some kind of a war going on. And then in the end, they bring their workers who are very charged, who are very emotional, and who've been given to believe that when they come to Islamabad and come to give their dharna, uh, the, their leader will be released from jail and this is how the what the mindset is and and in the end the leaders just run away leaving the uh, the workers and the protesters high and dry and they don't know at that point what to do or where to go this was exactly this is a pattern that has been going on since 9th may when there was so much incitement to violence when there was so much uh, of this preparation that whatever happened they are, they these workers are going to be there for the leader. And in the end, the, the leaders just disappear. And that leaves a mob. Even though the, it's not very large in number, it's still a mob and it has no direction. And that can become very dangerous. So that is a situation that we've been, see, uh, we've been seeing repeated again and again. And the, uh, the reason why it can actually, this mob can do all of this is because the resources of the uh, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province are being used because the chief minister uses all the government resources and uh, so that helps him to, uh, you know, and this time they brought, uh, every time they are bringing um, ammunition, they are bringing, this time they brought tear gas, they brought, uh, you know, various kinds of uh, sticks or whatever. So all of that in the end, what did it this time result in? It resulted in the death of uh, police personnel, of rangers, and I believe that uh, one or two, uh, I, I'm not sure about the number, but one or two or three civilians as well. So this has to stop. And another pattern that is being repeated is also that every time that there is an important event being held in Pakistan or an important person is coming uh, to Pakistan, for example, during the SEO summit, for example, when the, the Saudi um, uh, people were coming, now when the Belarus uh, people were coming. So every time that something of that sort is happening, 
they uh, give a call for protest and Imran Khan gives a call for protest and he just does not back off. So uh, what we are seeing is that this is a, an effort to destabilize Pakistan, uh, to create chaos and anarchy in Pakistan. We've also seen and the Prime Minister talk, uh, you know, uh, urge the civil and military leadership to form a strategy to prevent uh, the PTI from uh, threatening national peace like we've seen. Uh, of course, uh, you know, banning the party, what do you think that that's also something that's on the cards overall? Um, it is on the cards. Personally, I do not think it's a good idea because banning a party really, uh, we've seen uh, historically, it never really leads to anything. And to be honest, I think that the party has now uh, you know, there's so many different uh, groups in this party. There are there is the Alima group, and then there's the Bushra group, and then there's the uh, the CM uh, Gandapur group, and then there is the, the lawyers group. So they all are actually there's so much infighting going on in the party. I don't think it can be called um, a, a cohesive co cohesive party in any case at this time. And I think because it wasn't a party to begin with, it was a cult which had one leader, and that leader just held all the power uh, within his own hands. He never uh, delegated power. He never made any other person, uh, you know, responsible enough. So everybody was just revolving around that cult leader. And now that that cult leader is incarcerated, uh, the party has just, uh, uh, you know, just, God, 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 so you know, we've seen the fragments emerge. Shazra, please stay with us. I'm, I will come back to you. I'm just going to go to Muhammad Ali Rashid. Ali, banning uh, PTI is one thing. Uh, imposition of governor rule is, is another. But as a political party, as I understand, PPP doesn't agree with this. Why? Ali, can you hear me? Ji, Ali, like I said, you know, banning is one thing, but the, the other being imposition of governor rule in KP, which is something that is being discussed. But, I, but as I understand, your party doesn't agree with this. Why? Auzubillah, I'm Nash Shaitwan Rajim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Look, banning a party or uh, imposing governor rule, we are not in the favor of it because uh, we feel that. Uh, it's not, uh, it, it should be the last resort. It's not something which, uh, uh, nothing good comes out of it. Because even if you impose um, the rule of the g g governor, uh, there are a lot of technicalities, there are a lot of issues with running the machinery of the government. Um, although it can be done constitutionally, but the framework um, as it is, it does not really define how um, the things should be carried out day-to-day -day activities and other machinery related work in the, in the government so we feel it may undermine the performance of the province not that it's doing any good under PTI's current um, uh, CM but um, if push comes to shove if it know, is the last as, resort, right but at the situation at this time um, in terms of the law and order situation in terms of a CM, and we've seen that, you know, this is not once that he's mobilized uh, the government machinery to come to the capital, and we've seen the protests that followed. To have someone uh, like that at the helm, do you think that, you know, the, the pros and cons of it, isn't it uh, something that may become imperative at some stage, in your opinion? Um, absolutely. I think it, it is something which can be considered. Um, I was just watching another uh, in the news right now that they're planning on some other protests to come to Islamabad again, uh, which is very unfortunate with everything what, hap what, what has happened um, with the situation in their own pro province in KP, Para Chinar, the, the people who have been martyred there, uh, the CM didn't go there, didn't visit there. Um, it's just really uh, sad. It's the state of affairs in KP right now, and I feel for the people of KP. Um, the government machinery, which should be serving the people, giving them relief, um, dispensing, you know, whatever kind of services they can to the people, 
uh, is instead of that is focused on somehow destabilizing the federal government, somehow attacking the Islamabad capital. And you, you see, the thing is, if you want to do a peaceful protest, you're most welcome. But when you talk about jihad, you talk about dying and uh, this being the final call and you, you know, tie a coffins on your head before coming. So you're looking for trouble. You're wanting to create trouble. You've, you've expressed your intention, right? With those kind of intentions, what kind of outcome are you expecting? Exactly the kind of outcome which happened. You know, there was confrontation, there were people got injured, you know, ranger, ranger's personnel got injured. I'm sure their protesters which had come must have also gotten hurt and injured in this uh, entire thing. And the top leadership uh, was missing as usual. And then um, Gandapur Sahab and uh, Bushra Bibi Sahiba, they, they also, you know, made, made a run for it and disappeared, left the uh, uh, protesters high and right. Um, so I think even uh, the polit political workers are that, being... You know, whether we talk of another, I'm going to interject, whether we talk about a protest, another protest or not, the question is, do you think that as mobility in mobilizing their own supporters, within Islamabad, for example, uh, you know, do you think that, you know, that itself may get more and more challenging because already it seems to have been an issue for the party also, internally also? I'll tell you my personal analysis and my personal opinion in this. A, yes, it will become very difficult because I think there's a trust deficit. If you, uh, right now, if you conduct a show and you just go send one of your beach reporters on the roads and just KP, the workers, just go talk to them. Uh, I've been seeing things on social media, on YouTube, etc. The PTI workers are literally abusing the top leadership. They're saying these people are using us. They're good for nothing. They're fighting amongst themselves. They can't sort out issues. Everybody is blaming each other. And you can see the morale of the, you know, worker who supercharged ones who want to, who wanted to, you know, just do or die, just go there and get to D-Chalk and make sure that, you know, some significant uh, thing can happen and maybe Imran Khan, we, we can talk and resolve issues. But that worker is very disappointed. I don't think that person is going to come out again. That worker is not going to come out again. And even if these, what's, uh, which, uh, something which I noticed um, in these past few times, uh, which is really concerning for me as an individual, was the fact that uh, even if you do bring out these people, uh, these leaders, since they don't have that kind of pull or control or respect in the eyes of, of those workers, instead of the leaders dominating and being in control of the situation, the workers are in control. You may have seen videos how Gandapur got surrounded by workers, got uh, roughed up by workers. There was some abusive language also. They threw bottles at him also. So when you bring, the, the, you know, if you don't, you bring like a lot of people without any control, then bad things are bound to happen. Things will get out of time. Ali, let me come back to you. Daniel, overall, you know, however we may look at it, uh, you know, the assessment of the situation. The question for the government at this time, as far as the law and order situation is concerned, why do you think, you know, we heard what, Dan, uh, what Ali had to say about governor rule. Do you think that, you know, in your opinion, it may become necessary? Because, of course, we are looking at security challenges in KP. Well, there's a famous saying, a quote of Napoleon. He once said that when your enemy is making mistakes, you should mm. let them make mistakes. Hmm. So I don't think politically, as a political analyst, I don't think governor's rule is going to favor the federal government. In fact, the longer Ali Amin stays in power, the more he's going to expose himself. You think that they're eroding their own popularity within the province? Not just within the province, hmm. even be, with their uh, moral authority in front of their workers, hmm. which the, he has completely lost. And had he had any dignity or shame, he would have resigned himself. Hmm. And all those uh, claims that he made hmm. and uh, see, how uh, lack of uh, decency can a person have hmm. you that uh, those people who are taxpayers of your province the hmm. car that you were sitting on was bought by their money hmm. and you left them and they were begging you to stay hmm. long before the operation even started hmm. so had he had any shame had he had any dignity he would have resigned hmm. himself so the longer he stays in power uh, the more he's going to expose himself 
Hmm. And uh, like I said earlier, his agenda was just to create a ruckus so that hmm. he can somehow secure his job. Hmm. And obviously, he does not want the release or he does not want any sort of change because if you look at the history of this party, hmm. their first chief minister in KPK was Pervez Khatak and he again was elected a member of the provincial assembly but he was not made the chief minister again. Then they brought forward Mahmood Khan and... Do you think it's also <coughs> because, uh, you know, com of course, he's a more saner voice compared to uh, the, the current CM as far as PTI as a party is concerned? And that would probably not have suited the kind of person that, uh, you know, it is said the leader of PTI, mm -hmm. you know, would want at the helm of Basically, guys, what you're trying to say is they needed a wartime chief minister. But the point is then all the accomplishments that they claim of good governance, they're related to those chief ministers. Mm -hmm. Have those, then why replace the person if your whole mm -hmm. purpose is good governance or better governance, then why replace a person who's done his job well? So either they should admit that uh, in those 10 years they just wasted resources and time of a province and they did not deliver any, anything so therefore they had to bring forward a third person. Hmm. And secondly, as you said, yes that makes a lot of sense hmm. because they need a person of uh, less... Uh, less you know, he's of course more aggressive and, and also known by some quarters to be irrational uh, and, and you know, perhaps agree with not you as seasoned. Because of this uh, agenda, but they've had this agenda since the start, even Pervez hmm. Khatak managed to... Uh, Let me come back to you on that. I'm going to, I, I will come back sure. to you, and I'm going to go to Dr. Shazra. Shazra, there is, you know, of course, on the one hand, the government did know that this protest was going to happen for a while. We also had, a, a, you know, an order in the field from uh, the Islamabad High Court, and yet, you know, it happened. It continues to happen. I understand that there is the right to assemble, there is the right of free speech, all of that. But when the government can anticipate, you know, the kind of uh, the situation that, that we've seen happen, and each time it gets worse for the people of Pakistan, for the people of Islamabad, why does the government not stop it beforehand? Well, as you just said, that in a democracy, the right to protest, the right to assemble is uh, enshrined in the constitution, and we cannot, uh, you know, as a government, we cannot and do not want to uh, serve that right for the people. But as we have seen, we've, uh, we uh, tried to talk to PTI again and again. We tried to give them, uh, for example, a certain place, a certain time, certain rules to follow. But time and again, they keep breaking those rules. They do not follow those rules. Uh, and this time again, even as they had started their uh, walk and their uh, protest, there were talks going on between the government and the people from PCI. And we had, uh, they'd come to a sort of a, a conclusion that they'd stop at Sanrani and, and just have their uh, protests over there. But then again, we, uh, one of their spokespeople, uh, Barrister Seth, I think it was, who said that uh, even though uh, Bushra Begum had been told that Imran Khan had agreed that they should assemble there, she refused and said that they would. So there's a lack of uh, leadership. In that party now, there's a there's no cohesion. There's no uh, everybody wants to do their own thing. Everybody ha has their own point, and everybody Something is just. Uh, we we protest. we've just heard. I don't know if this will actually happen or not, but there is talk of yet another protest. Is the government? Yes. Uh, yes. I think that uh, uh, you know, like you were talking about the uh, the governor's rule. So that's also part of the constitution. The uh, Article Two Thirty Two says that when there is a, such a situation of law and order as we are actually seeing in KPK, and when there is uh, there is even terrorism now, there are certain parts of KPK which are not even under the government of KPK's rule right now. They themselves cannot even step there. There's so much uh, terrorism has arisen. We've every few days we hear the, that uh, people, army uh, you know, personnel have been martyred, police personnel have been martyred. And rather than uh, concentrating uh, his efforts on helping the army to control that menace of terrorism that has arisen in KPK and that has arisen because of the policies of PTR who let these terrorists uh, come back into Pakistan without surrendering and even release some prisoners from jail in their time, uh, rather than concentrating on that, because uh, the terrorism can only be controlled, as we have seen in history, in, during Zarbe and other operations, 
when the civil and the military combine their forces, and only then can uh, this menace be controlled. But rather than uh, focusing on that, the CM of KP is focusing again and again on coming to uh, to Islamabad and and using this war language in a way. And this time, even Afghan citizens and people from Afghanistan have been caught. I think more than 30 people have been caught in their protests. So uh, the situation is very dire. Again, Dr. Shazra, again, the question is then, you know, even when we see all this situation, you know, the propensity of this to get volatile, the propensity of this to become, you know, potentially uh, a, a situation, a security high alert, uh, you know, a security sensitive uh, situation, also, you know, a situation that can lead to, uh, you know, uh, can potentially become tragic. So, you know, of course, the government will have to ensure that that doesn't continue happening, right? Yes, absolutely. And as the Prime Minister said in his speech, that this is not going to be allowed to be repeated. We cannot allow them. Uh, one, uh, you know, political party, which I do not think is really a political party, because if they were a political party, they would come into the parliament. And even if they wanted to protest, they would protest for the people. The, pe the protest each time is just for the one man. Each time the demand is that that one man should be released from jail without thinking how is that possible? We, the government is not responsible for putting him in jail and the government Scored. can release him from jail. We've also seen discord within the party because, you know, of course, there seems to be that resentment that those that support them, those that come out for, you know, uh, whatever cause are, are always invariably desert, uh, deserted by the leadership. And, and, you know, that also is, of course, a cause for concern and they are left to, to bear the brunt of uh, the actions of the leadership. So that is, of course, something that, that is continuously, that's a pattern that we are looking at at this time. Yes, and a, a task force has been uh, created for this purpose of, of controlling this. Because every time, as you're saying, we cannot just put containers and endanger the lives, plus make the lives of uh, normal citizens miserable, which it does happen when containers have to be put up and all the roads have to be blocked just because we do not want to endanger their lives. But then their everyday lives become so uh, difficult to live. So this time a task force has been created and um, uh, we are going to do whatever is required if they try to come up for another protest. But to be honest, I think that what happened to this protest and the way that the party just went its own way, all the groups went their own way, everybody was saying a different thing. They've been accusing each other of lying. The sisters are saying one thing, Busha Begum's sister is saying quite another thing. Some other party workers, are, uh, some of them are defending Gandapur, the Busha Bibi's sister saying that uh, she was taken by force. So there is so much, they were so adept at spreading fake news, which they did even this time by saying that there were 200 or more dead bodies, which in, to which there is no truth at all. But after spreading fake news all over Pakistan. Now that fake news has caught up with them and everybody's saying a different thing. Everybody's accu accusing each other of lying. I do not think that as a party, their workers are now going to come out at any call at all because every time they've seen that they've been assembled, they've been given this, these, uh, you know, very um, violent ideas and then they've been left on their own while the leadership just runs away and disappears. Right, let me come back to you. Um, Ali, you said that, you know, of course, there are other options with, you know, other than, than governor rule. And of course, overall, your assessment of the situation is the same. You're saying that certainly there is a security situation within KP. There are issues within KP. What are the other options that perhaps, you know, the PPP feels can be entertained? Um, I think uh, I thought they would have learned their lesson and at least uh, for the next few months, um, another protest would not be on their mind because they had miserably, be, you know, they, because this protest had actually put them in a very, uh, uh, they had really undermined their position. Within the party, within the party lead leadership, a lot of issues surfaced, you know, what kind of thing happened with the Bushra Bibi and 
uh, Punjab le- leadership didn't come out and then um, the kind of words and heated argument which t- took place in the uh, meeting. Um, then after that, uh, obviously the workers, so I'm, I'm a bit surprised and it's just uh, uh, adding fuel to the fire because I feel, you know, they, it, it's not something that, that they should be focusing on, focusing on right now. Uh, but that being said, with the law and order situation, I think uh, they should keep in mind um, in KP, a lot of stuff is happening. What what would happen if, uh, God forbid, the government is saying that there were Taliban people involved, there were some cr- criminals involved who had joined them. There were what, is the rule? what is it that the, that the PPP feels can be done in KP to control the situation? I mean, if you don't want to go towards uh, the governor rule, is it also like Danyal said that, you know, uh, it is something you feel that, you know, to use uh, the proverb that they're actually, you know, shooting themselves in the foot in the sense that, you know, they're damaging themselves with whatever, they're, they're perhaps, you know, they're eroding their water base, but then at what cost and when does, you know, it become enough is enough because there have been bodies and there have been deaths in Parachanar. We know that the situation is clearly, uh, you know, uh, terrible. Look, the thing is, it's absolutely, I agree. It just things, they're just uh, me- messing up things for themselves. And uh, we feel uh, governor rule may give them this kind of uh, sympathy from the public that, oh, we were so close to fixing things and we were, you know, we things were bad, but we were addressing them and uh, we could have controlled the security situation. We could have done, a, you know, whatever we could have, than that but uh, since you know we, we, we don't want them to have that victim card where they can say that you know everything was going okay and look what they've done and you know obviously governor rule may be possible constitutionally but it's not uh, publicly very popular and the option uh, is obviously the last resort because of this but and that being said PPP is being very careful um, as an ally to be a bit impartial about this d- d- decision if we want to go, because the governor currently is from PPP, right? So we don't want to sound too eager, that if we don't want to make it look like, because look, we're taking constitutional positions as it is. We are not interested in running a province or, or the f- f- federal government. So we don't want uh, to make it seem like that we are we have some kind of vested interest. That's why we are really wanting to go for it. So we're letting the party, the other allies discuss it. We are open for it, but we're not advocating for it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Daniel, when do you think, you know, overall, of course, we've seen the situation. We know that that polarization is on the rise also. You know, one can say that it is fueled again by the kind of protests that we've seen. Uh, the kind of false narratives, the kind of false stories that are put forward in social, on social media, particularly. If this continues, you know, do you, do you, how, what do you, to what do you assess the future to be? Because again, you know, like uh, Ali also said, they're talking about another protest yet again. Well, I'm not amazed. I'm not shocked. Uh, which, whenever the day some foreign dignitary would announce his visit to Pakistan, his or her visit, they will definitely make uh, mm. try to create that. But at what cost to themselves? Because we are looking at more resignations at this time after this protest we've seen. You know, we are well, also obviously, see, these kind of cults, in the end, they have to fall like a house of cards. Mm. And for that, they, they have to make, see, they basically, mm. as the weight is increasing and increasing, mm. like right now, we can see, like, there are four factions. There's a mm. PTI, Ali Amin group, then there's a uh, Bushabibi. former Busha Bibi group, yes. and then the lawyers group, and so on and so forth. Mm. So ultimately, they will disintegrate because it's very difficult. They say you can mm. fool some people sometimes, but you cannot fool all the people all the time. Mm. So eventually, the people will realize like uh, mm. <coughs> our friend Muhammad Ali was telling us, the mm. situation in Parachanar right now, see now the, uh, basically one uh, it's sectarian violence, which is something both so serious, God forbid it can spread into, to, to, uh, it mm. can spread throughout the whole country, mm. which mm. they're not realizing, you know, one uh, mm. sect uh, of Muslims is being attacked and for them this is not even an issue, mm. whereas the fundamental responsibility of the provincial government is law and order. Mm. So having said that, definitely the people of KPK are going to judge them in the coming election according to their performance, 
as the or his performance mm. as the chief executive mm. so i don't think that uh, he has delivered at all mm. more than that i personally think that now uh, more the chances of governor rule is much less but the chances of uh, internal pressure for the chief minister's resignation is going to start growing one thing that i think the federal government should do because as the uh, head of the uh, the bureaucracy in kpk the chief secretary and the inspector general they are both employees of the federal government they should at least be reminded that they are only supposed to follow lawful orders of the chief executive not not illegal orders so they need to be impartial and they should only obey the chief minister when his orders are lawful and they should not uh, they should make sure that the people working under them should mm -hmm. not take part in such anti state activities uh shazra danial here is talking about how the administration of kp should remain impartial and of course uh, you know they should ensure that they follow orders when they are of course uh, you know given in the interests of the province and the interest of the people uh the kind of situation that we see in kp do you think that's possible because when clearly you know it's a, it's a case of course uh, the federation and the province um, and of course balancing that and the administration being put in this uncomfortable position is isn't that also itself quite difficult yes it's certainly difficult because uh, you know we try to just stay within the limits of the constitution and not Uh, you know the federal government does not want to exert its power beyond a certain uh, limit beyond the limits that are enshrined within the constitution but having said that with the situation that is uh, erupting again and again and with the kind of uh, uh, government resources that are being used illegally because this kind of a uh, you know th this kind of uh, government resource use is definitely not something that is permitted by the constitution uh government resources are not so one party to use and and ironically this was the one party that was always saying that these things should not be done and that the government resources resources are for the people but as as of this time we can see that they have uh, ruled for more than uh, they've been in the uh, ruling party for more than uh, 10 uh, twice uh, you know so two terms and they still uh not doing anything for the people they're not really concerned with the public all that imran khan is concerned is with himself so definitely i think that certain uh, radical steps will now be needed needs to be taken because as uh, they say that when the extraordinary circumstances and extraordinary steps need to be taken so the government is considering all of that the government has made a task force and the government is uh, going to consider what is the best way to control this menace but having said that i must say that now if the pti is giving a call for protest i think they want that some kind of an extreme step should be taken by the government so that they can again portray themselves as political martyrs so if government governor's rule is uh, you know imposed or if the the party is banned or anything of that sort they will again be able to play upon that and and uh, pose as political matter whereas at this time their party has completely lost all uh, you know credibility uh, the leadership has lost all credibility with the workers the workers are really not now willing to again and again put themselves and the the lives of their loved ones at risk to follow somebody who's going to just disappear at the end and imran khan as they have seen and i should i think they realize is not going to be released by just coming and protesting imran khan has to follow the the law he is going to be released when he is approved innocent by any uh, you know court of justice not by people coming and saying that he should be released there were earlier reports you know during the protest of how uh, the, the the you know of course uh, imran khan himself had agreed to uh, having the protest away in sanjani as i believe and the that itself was discounted by uh, bushra bibi and ali amin gandapur so do you think that that chain of command itself is intact or do you think that there is prob there are problems there also uh, there is uh, certainly there are uh, too many groups and everybody is doing the sisters are trying to take the reins of the party in their own hands the wife is trying to take the reins of the party in her own hands and all the people who have actually stood by imran khan the the people who are part of the party or who have different 
uh, you know, who, who's the president or the, uh, the uh, whatever, they are now resigning uh, because uh, their uh, command was just taken out of their hands, and they would, uh, there were reports that uh, Bushra Begum asked them or questioned them in a way that they they did not want to answer because they did not consider her to be their leader. The leader they still considered to be Imran Khan, and then after Imran Khan, whoever is the chairman of the party or whoever is the you know secretary general of the party and other people who uh, have these different uh, you know denominations in the party, they are the ones who should be leading the party. But at this time, everybody was uh, just scattered. And everybody was trying to take the uh, lead in their own hands. And therefore, there was so much confusion. Somebody is saying that we should stay here. The other people are saying, no, we have to go to Dichor. And uh, so I think the party is definitely, uh, because, it, as I said, it wasn't a formally... Shazra, like you said, you don't want, I mean, of course, you, you don't want them, them to be, to become, a, you know, it, 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 them to become martyrs. You don't want them to use any excuse to sort of change the narrative again. And therefore, the government is showing restraint? Yes, yes. absolutely. Because that's, that's, I think, if they say, after the terrible disappointment and the confusion and the chaos that was seen within their own party in this uh, protest, so-called protest, which was apparently the last call and it was going to change everything. After that, if there was just complete confusion. So now, I don't think they're going to give a call in uh, in a hurry. So if they give a call now, it will definitely be to become political matters because there is no other way at this time for the party to regain itself. It's going to take a long time for the party to be able to regroup and reorganize itself and actually be an organized party or have any kind of an organized rally. So um, they won't be able to do that. So they only want, at this time, personally, I think, that they want some kind of an extreme step taken by the government so that they can again take the sympathy of the people. So the government is showing restraint and is really going to think very carefully and clearly through this and also try to make sure that we have as broad a consensus as is possible before taking any extreme measure. Right, fair enough. Um, Ali, as far as the PPP is concerned, as far as your, you know, of course, it's your your governor in KP. As far as the narrative is concerned, as far as PTI is concerned, do you think that what, what lies in the future immediately? Do you think they're going to be able to redeem themselves to their voter, to their supporter? Or do you think that they are going to expose themselves further? We are going to see call for more protests and as a result, perhaps more disarray, more resignations to follow. How do you see, you know, the next couple of months even? I think uh, the big mistake PTI is making at the moment is announcing another protest. Um, if you look at things, I mean, right now, a lot is going on for them. Um, you hear news of Imran Khan removing Barrister Bhor from Chairman Salman uh, Raja has resigned as General Secretary. Um, there are many other, they have some other MNA who's also part of the Central Cabinet. I'm forgetting his name. He's resigned as well. Uh, they, uh, they're not liking the fact that uh, Bushra Bibi has come and she's dictating terms to them. She's uh, being very obnoxious. She's, uh, she's super rude. Um, she, she's very abusive in the meeting. And all these people come from good family backgrounds. And they're like, look, this is not what we signed up for. And um, we are only answerable to our leader. And our leader has also not made you the chairman of the party or nominated you, you just show up. Um, first, you say, I'm a gharelu khatoon and I'm ghair siyasi, I have nothing, I'm apolitical, I have nothing to do. But suddenly, uh, then you say you won't even be part of the protest, you won't be coming out. And uh, just you wake up in the morning and you show up, you surprise, you know, you yell surprise and you su surprise Ali Amin Gandapur also, who's like so shocked that why is she coming along? And then she comes along and then um, earlier, you said that you know that uh, Gandapur and Bushra Bibi were on the same page. Uh, this, they weren't. They were not at all. They were uh, Shinjrani or whatever that place is called, where Imran Khan had also agreed. Gandapur want and 
Barrister Saf and Barrister Gore had communicated this to uh, Amin, uh, Ali Amin that do it there, Imran Khan's ready. But she, and she was the one who vetoed it and forced them to go to D Chalk uh, and put all the workers in harm's way. And, you know, then whatever happened, happened. Um, and, you know, so it, it can't work like that, you know. And then she's appointed a spokesperson, Bushra Bibi, a rare Siasi uh, Khatun. She's appointed a spokesperson who speaks on her behalf. And then she has a sister who are giving, you know, the sister is saying, if you talk about just the 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 ex first lady uh, the statements which are coming from her spokesperson and her own sister are two different stories that bushra bibi said this and then saying no bushra bibi didn't say this but so, there's so much confusion within the ranks i mean get your you know act, get, get your house in order you can always protest later do it democratic uh, you know be peaceful you can always do it later first get your house in order get everybody on the same page your workers won't come out your 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 uh, everybody is like accusing each other and the 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 muscle the the real force behind any protest or street power is the worker and if the if your worker i mean go to tiktok youtube all these other platforms facebook instagram your pti's workers are abusing the leadership they are abusing ali amin gandapur I don't want to even repeat the kind of language. Let me, let me go to Dania. Dania, your comments overall, do you think that, you know, you heard what Ali is saying also. Do you think that, then why call for another protest? Is it like Shazra said, to become, to redeem themselves? As, as far as another protest is concerned, PTI2 only way it has to gain its uh, credibility in the public is by replacing Ali Amin. Ali Amin now is no different from Humpty Dumpty who had a great fall. Mm. Now all the king's men cannot put Habdi Dhamdi back together. Now he has to go. He has got no moral authority left. He's got no, in he showed no integrity. Uh, he has not committed to his words. He's an opportunist. And it's high time that people within this party realize this and mm. see his true face. The first mm. thing that needs to be done is to get rid of him and so they can get their own house in order mm. before they can try th even think of uh, attacking the Federation again. Right. Unfortunately, that's all the time that we have. Thank you so much for being with us today. Dr. Shazra Mansab Ali, thank you for joining us. Mohammed Ali Rashid, thank you for being with us. Daniel Sheikh, thank you for being with us today. Of course, overall, the situation and how uh, things look at this time, certainly the party does look in disarray. And the call for another protest at this time uh, can also be tantamount to a final uh, you know, catastrophe for the party itself. The Federation, on the other hand, of course, seems to be considering all actions like banning the party, for example, and the talk of governor rule at this time, of course, PPP has disregarded. Uh, the, the hope for a prosperous KP perhaps should override all other considerations at this time for the PTI as a political party because it is a province in which for the people have voted, of which the people have voted for them as a political party. Are they eroding their own uh, political base? Are they eroding their own popularity? Those are considerations that perhaps need to be reflected on. Thank you so much for joining us today on Perspective.